Welcome everyone. Tonight I'm going to tell you about my latest progress at 26th place in the July Pro uh, race right now. Uh, I want to talk to you about my reward function and kind of share the progress so far, share what I'm thinking, um, what I've been trying out, and uh, you know, let me know what you think. So let's get started. So first thing I want to show you is the July qualifier leaderboard. As you can see here, I'm in 26th place and it hasn't been easy um, been trying lots of different models uh, but i want to show you what i got so far so check out the car it's driving pretty well it's cutting corners it's uh and over here it has a nice it's it's not getting blocked by the bots so that's good it's bypassing the bots driving fast so let me let me walk through how i did this so as you notice, I'm not following the center line, right? It's kind of trying to follow a, an optimal race line. So how did I do that? Well, let me show you. If you go to this to this repo here, uh, Deep Racer K1999 race lines on GitHub, this notebook will help you calculate the racing line for you right so you download the track this, uh, i'm working on the july pro track you download it save it to your hard drive then you run this notebook and this notebook does all the heavy lifting for you right so uh this is the uh, the standard training uh track but basically it'll draw that middle line that you see here that cuts the corners and should be optimal or close to optimal for the racetrack. So that's basically what I did. Okay, here I have the pro track laid out. Now you see these dots, these uh, yellow dots and red dots. Those are, that is the optimal race line that I was, that I calculated. I plotted it out here so you can see it clearly. Uh, but, you know, I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to help out the reward function right so what i wanted to say was if it's within a certain range of the optimal give it you know 50 percent of the reward function if it's right on top of the racing line then give it the full reward function value right kind of like how this the example reward function on aws works right if you're within 50 percent of the center line you get 50 percent of the reward and if you're right on the center line you get full reward so anyway i was using that as a as inspiration so I went in here and I literally painted with the paintbrush the this blue zone where I would say well if it's within here it'll get 50% of the reward and went ahead and painted this red line that says if you're in the red line you're gonna get the full reward notice that I kind of fudged it a little bit on the corners just to give it a little more um, wiggle room in case the car was there it is not perfect. It, I don't think it had to be perfect, but that's basically what it looked like. And then I exported just the blue and the red, right? And I export this and I read it in, processed it, and mapped this into X and Y coordinates for my reward function. So you're probably wondering what the reward function looks like. Well, let me show you. So here's my reward function. As you can see here, um, I'm using this style of... Uh, well, I have a, the reward function is actually in the reward object. If you're curious about that, leave me a comment. I can talk more why we want to do that. But essentially, I get my parameters, as I'm sure you all do. If it's off track, I give zero value. Um, I have is reversed here. This is wrong. I have to fix this. But anyway, if it's the idea is if it if it crashed, I should just give it no value, right? Um, I calculate the reward function here. And then I give it the bonus, right? So if it's within the blue zone, that's what this is. If it's within my blue zone, I give it a little bit of, um, give it a little boost. And if it's in the red zone, I give it a big boost, right? I'm really promoting it being in the red zone. So with this reward function that you see here, I was able to get some decent results, right? So let's go back to the video. Uh, as you can see, uh, let me go here. It's driving pretty well. Pretty, you know, it's doing a good job here. It's cutting the corner. It has like that weird glip right there on that corner. I have to fix that. But this was my fastest track. Um, again, it, and there were no collision penalties. Thank goodness. 
and this run got me to 26th place right now. So there you have it. That's how I did it. Um, that's how I was able to get to 26th uh, spot. Combination of reward lines using basically a free version of Photoshop to draw, literally draw in the blue and red zones into the map. And then he's adding that to my reward function so that the car drives in the right spot. Well, hope that was good. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks. There you have it, folks. Team Boltron. Stay tuned for more. Make sure to subscribe and click the like button if you want to see more of this content.